JBiz Daily. A few states could still legalize marijuana th through legislatures this year. So I didn't see what states it was, though. We got uh, remain this year legalized medical and recreational marijuana through legislation, but other efforts have faltered. So we're looking at Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, uh, Delaware, North Carolina, uh, South Carolina. Wow. Kansas, Minnesota, New Hampshire. Then uh, I think Minnesota has recreational already. So uh, this doesn't be sure to watch this to see how many more states knock out across that barrier between recreational and medical. Right. Delaware is going to go for recreational. Uh, Kansas and North Carolina are all both medical and strong chances of passing. So, you know, good luck to you guys. And then again, these are just things that are going to happen no matter what. The toothpaste has been out of the tube <laughs> I mean, for way too long, way too long. There's no now. So, like the, the original purpose of the law was to hinder a certain category of citizens, and now it's affecting everybody because people realize this goddamn plant is is for the human. Like, hey, we're people. That's how that works. You know, not machines. Yeah. We all have endocannabinoid systems, just like the nervous system. I. It's just sad that this is what prohibition does. It, it has hurt us more than it has uh, made us better. Uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Are you doing some uh, pro formas there, buddy? You working on some? No, uh, uh, the person who does the cannabis uh, overlay screwed up, and he didn't put it in the uh, Slack channel, and now we're uh, live. And then I'm trying to get this thing downloaded off the Slack channel so we can have our name that strain. Yeah, no, I tell you, like some people just they just want to get fired. So expected to pass this year. We got Rhode Island for recreational. Uh, you probably have some. And once these go recreational, is that what you're going to start pinging them for? Like, hey, licenses and stuff. Or are you going to have packets ahead of time? How are you going to be doing that? Uh, well, you know, it's it's we're still closed, and I've been like interviewing people, but um, trying to find people that are good in the industry is is tough, especially you know when you're remote. And so, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like when a license state comes up, I read the license and I create content, and then I've been doing enough work that. I've tried to train people to do that for me. And it's just uh, running a business is hard. You know, trying to find yeah. good employees is hard. No, I feel you. I mean, especially you are an entrepreneur. So uh, back to this Rhode Island bill, though, uh, some business details. 60 plus existing medical cannabis cultivators would control the market for at least the first two years. Another monopoly. Uh, the legislative measures are envisioned 24 retail licenses with six going to social equity applicants. But I'm confused then. So after the two years, I guess, this is when that part takes place for applicants. So, um, yeah, let's, let's see what the next step is. Uh, Delaware, recreational possible passage this year. Delaware would be a nice place to smoke weed. Uh, what they got going for business details. Uh, would permit 30 retail store licenses, including 15 for social equity applicants, 30 processor licenses, including 10 for equity applicants. All right, so they're, they're setting aside... Uh, license for equity applicants so hey we got a rest in delaware check it out yep uh, until a lawyer like me uh, sues pursuant to the dormant commerce clause and gets all those <laughs> um social equity licenses that are created because of um residency kicked well and i wondered though if, if the requirement for like any of these states when they when they say social equity you know the hot word the buzzword that gets everybody all triggered mm -hmm. um you know, you said it before where it has to be defined in the law, right? You have to define who this person is, the social equity person is. And it's always going to come down to an arrest. But I wonder if that arrest is something that happened in that state or does it have to be in the nation, right? Because a lot can't, of people say it can't be in that state. If it's in that state, you have a dormant commerce clause problem because then it's one state preferencing its own uh, citizens yeah, yeah. at the expense of others. So, like, New Jersey does a great job of having an unconstitutional constitutional uh, social equity program where the qualifying arrest and conviction can happen anywhere. But if you were a longtime resident of a particular jurisdiction, it has to have been in New Jersey in a particular uh, zip code. And that means that uh, an out-of-state resident can't get the license and they could bring a dormant commerce clause action. Yeah, because all my arrests happen in California. So that would be something that would have to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, worth watching is Pennsylvania. Uh, I wonder if they have that definitely worth watching for recreational. You know how we talked about the that one uh, uh, senator and uh, I. Hopefully, this is the bill where they had that craft grow uh, tiered licensing. I literally like that. So you can do a home grow if you want to get involved into the recreational market, which is, God forbid, 
enables citizens to make money and flourish, uh, mm -hmm. I think that'd be a great way to do it. Yeah, there's that. But then uh, it's really kind of like cottage industry regulations. And so uh, making food in your kitchen and selling them at farmers markets. Uh, that has happened in many jurisdictions. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take before weeds like that. I mean, I saw some news out of California about how they may start allowing farmers markets for cannabis uh, in the near future. But, you know, it's it's regulation. Well, man. It's crazy. It's not just regulation. We still like it's a freaking agriculture product that somehow people can't wrap their heads around because they're getting rejected in the recent um, uh, California farmers for the, the drought. Right. There's a lot of this uh, subsidies for, for water for the farms. None of the cannabis people are getting that. None. Nope. So they are recognized for their money <laughs> that they bring in, but they're not recognized for it just being the goddamn agriculture product. All right. Well, there are some that are possible and some that are little chance and some that are expected and some that are worth watching. If you go to this MJ Biz Daily, shout out to them, their article. Uh, it really appears, though, that I mean, if you're putting North Carolina, South Carolina and Kansas in possible, no, they're not. Uh, maybe Kansas, but I thought North and South Carolina and I had read some news out of marijuana moment that both of their bills have now died. Uh, New Hampshire, that's too bad uh, that they haven't gotten their act together. And Minnesota, um, you know, it is it is frustrating. Minnesota's medical market yeah. is almost as bad as the one on the East Coast and how Illinois was prior to uh, its legalization. But these states, hopefully Pennsylvania, the problem with Pennsylvania is similar to the problem with like Wisconsin uh, in the sense and, and Michigan as well. But Michigan, evidently more uh, free enterprise Republicans there. Um, so when you have redistricting in state legislatures, even though you have a swing state that's about 50-50, uh, the redistricting can, you know, move the needle on it by quite a bit. A bit. I mean, like Wisconsin, they will sometimes vote for uh, the Republicans, sometimes vote for the Democrat for president, but they're because uh, they're about a 50-50, you know, 49, 51, somewhere in there. However, their legislature is two thirds Republican because they have gerrymandered the shit out of that uh, state. Okay, yeah, well, that's the majority of these uh, states right now. They're gerrymandering just to, to, to stay alive, to stay relevant, which is kind of sad because it just seems like if and it happens in either party, right? They're constantly trying to rig the game so they can always just stay in power or whatever. That's the end game is power. But uh, when it comes to legalization, though, you know, if they what are twin powers fucking activate yeah <laughs> get your shit together Seriously. all right no uh, but then that's that's something with stocks because like yeah uh, everything sold off the stock market's you know in a bear market and uh, recession's probably going to be here in another three six months uh but the um you know well marijuana stock stocks are down like 66 percent. so let's do it's it's I like money. Yep.